very warm welcome and thank you so much for staying with KTS. Of course, thank you so much for staying tuned to the Straight Talk program. I'm your host, Regina Orlando, and in my show today is uh, Samson Wanjama, a politician, come entrepreneur. Of course, uh, if you are in Eldoret, Huruma Ward, you know that Samson contested against uh, the closest uh, opponent, that is uh, the incumbent. Uh, Member of County Assembly of uh, Huruma Ward in Western Gishu County, that is uh, Mr. Peter Chomba. And he lost with very few uh, votes. But let's just get to know how the experience is having lost in such an electoral process. Welcome to our show today. Okay, thank you. Th thank you so much for honoring our call. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Samson Wanjama Mugo. Uh, they call me Samkiz because I have a construction company. I'm a young entrepreneur and I'm a youth. So I have a construction company named by Samsung, Samkis Construction Company, just uh, situated in uh, Uganda Road uh, before my limit. Okay. Yes. Can you tell us more about the Samkis uh, Construction Company? Yeah, Samkis Construction Company started it uh, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to, to do the construction works. Okay. Uh, personally, uh, I finished school in 2002, and uh, after, after high school, uh, before I joined college, I used to engage in construction works. Okay. And after an experience of five years, it's when I, I came and uh, opened a construction company by the name Samkis Construction Company. Wow. Yes. So how did you get capital <laughs> for such an enterprise? <laughs> yeah, y you know, uh, each and everything you start small. Okay. Yeah, so I used to start with the, 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 the smallest thing that uh, by then I, I, I used to manage. I used to do production of uh, the ventilations, the, 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 the ones that I used to, to, to get the ventilations to the, the houses. Those are the things that I started with. Uh, of course, they require small capital, like a thousand, two thousand. This is when I started, mm -hmm. yes. So tell me, how are you using your construction company to improve the lives of uh, people, especially the youth? I guess you're a youth yourself. Mm, yes, I'm a youth. Uh, one, uh, me, I'm a youth. And, uh, as I told you, I started the construction company seven years ago. It's bit, it's growing bit by bit. By then, uh, I used to work myself. I used to produce the ventilation myself. Okay. But uh, after some time, I uh, employed uh, one person. And then after some time, you see, you, you, you get to employ uh, a person or an employee when, when the business is growing. Okay. So it has, uh, the gradual gro uh, growth of the company, is mm -hmm. that it has taken time. But uh, for now, I can say there is a place that God has taken me. Mm -hmm. Now I can say I have more than 50 employees. Oh, you of have which 50? Are, yes, of which there are young people mm -hmm. in my region. Mm -hmm. Yes. Both gender or just men like uh, you? Majorly in construction work, 90% uh, are men. Okay. Uh, because uh, the, the construction work itself, it engages uh, the, the, the hard labor mm -hmm. and the construction works. So the 90% the, the is the male. But for the for the ten percent, the, the lighter works, the lighter jobs I give to the to the, to the female. Yes. Okay, uh, some things from what we've been seeing on our roads, it seems like uh, you have you've been doing so well as an entrepreneur, and uh, yes, in the uh, just in the recent past, mm -hmm. you is like you ventured into politics. Yes. So what's the motivation behind getting into politics? Uh, one, according or uh, just based on on the capacity of the of the of the, of the company, or the, rather the the, the, the farm. Uh, as I told you, I have employed more than uh, 50 young people. Okay. Now, uh, because each and every day, on a daily basis, I face the challenges of these young people. Uh, each and every time, the young people are looking for jobs. They want to be employed. Okay. And then, at the same time, the company cannot employ more than it can produce, you see. So, that thing of the young people coming to ask for this job, Sometimes even they don't want uh, they don't want to be employed on a monthly basis. They, they just want a, a one day job or a one day activity. Mm -hmm. So it motivated me to get into power so that I can I can I can get the interest of these young people. Okay. Cut for yeah. Okay. So that is the main thing that I ventured into politics. Okay. Seeing and interacting with the young people each and every day. So I get to know that uh, the young people don't have a person that can fight. 
for them okay. because uh, they don't have the links, they are afraid, they don't know the step forward. So I took that initiative of engaging into politics so that I can get and to know how I can engage how I can help decent people. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for that explanation, yes. uh, some keys. Yes. And uh, of course, you are contesting uh, to be the next uh, member of County Assembly, Huruma yes. Wadi, Northern yes. County, come August uh, 2017. But uh, why really uh, MCA? Uh, is it because of the huge amount of money that is in the <laughs> that is in that department or I don't know that position or why did you want to be the member of county assembly okay one well, i told you that uh, the thing is i wanted to come up and become a leader of the young people as a whole as i become a member uh, a leader of the young people mm -hmm. i also represent the other people the, sure. the women and the 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 the, the, the male or, or rather the, the whole population of of, of that county. Sure. But the thing is, when I am in power, or, or when I'm in that seat of MCA, I can really engage and know where I can get the, 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 the rather the resources of which I can bring down to the, to the ground, okay. of which can help these people. At the same time, I can get some few em employment <laughs> of, uh, of, of some few people that I can employ, apart from employing uh, in my company. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, I didn't go for this seat so that I can I can fetch money or I can mm -hmm. no. Uh, you see, some kids construction is not a small company. Sure. It's a big company. Mm -hmm. A company that employs more than fifty young people. It's a big company. Sure. I have trucks. I have lorries. I have all sort of machinery in the in the company. So the thing is, uh, I was not going for this seat so that I can fetch money, but I was going to see another platform on how I can get engage the young people and on how I can get these resources from the county so that they can reach the, the, the people on the ground uh, uh, equitably. Okay. Yeah. So was it your first shot into politics or you've given some attempts No, previously? It, was my, it was my first time. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was my first time. And so being that it was your first time yes. and maybe things just turned out the way they did, so how is your experience? Um, losing such an electoral process uh l let me say l let me backtrack uh, backtrack a little bit okay. you see some of these constructions are non company in osindish county sure uh, but uh to know the, the the person who is now the the, the 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 director of the company that is what uh, most of the people didn't know okay. but when i came out for to buy for this seat it's when people came to learn that I was the director of that company. Okay. But the name, or rather the company, some keys construction company, is a very known name. Uh, it's a very known name in the in the in the county. Okay. So the thing is, after I engaged in politics and after I did my campaigns to, to look for this seat of MCA, uh, of course there was a lot of challenges. Uh, the, the nomination process they were not fair at all in uh, the whole the whole the whole country the whole nation. The, 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 the nominations were not fair. Mm -hmm. But I look uh, at it in a different version. Okay. Now, personally, I said, some people okay. wanted me to go for the independent, to to, uh, to buy as an independent person. Okay. But I look at it. I was in Jubilee Party. I was buying uh, using Jubilee Party. Be before you go to your, your, your uh, issue of going as an independent yes, and yes. people wanting you to go yes. as an independent mm. candidate, yes. so w you mentioned about challenges yes. in the entire nomination process. So yes. what are some of these challenges that you encountered? Uh, there are some challenges uh, that we encountered so much on, the, on, that, uh, on that day, uh, on the, the due day of nomination. Okay. One, there was, no, there was not at all a good structure. For the nomination. What do you mean when you're the about structures, structure? The structures that were there. One, uh, the structure like, uh, you see, when, 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 when we are going to for the nomination, there are some things that the party put in place so that they can, they can check on the, on the, on the genuinity or, uh, or rather the fairness of the, of the nominations. Okay. But uh, it was the structures that the party put uh, on board. They were not fair at all. Like the, the ink they, they were using, it was just a uh, ink that it was easily rubbed. So for me, like a, a jubilee party to bring the, the, that thing, I mean, it is not it is not something that you can say a big party <laughs> like that can 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 bring something that uh, it's not. You see, the the, 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 the irregularities that were there. Okay. Majorly, it was 
because of the ink. Mm -hmm. So with the ink, so do you mean that, in short, do you mean that uh, someone could easily rub the ink and go and you vote again? What, what, what people were doing, mm -hmm. you are going to, to vote in this stream, mm -hmm. you go and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and wash that ink, you move on to the next stream, you go and wash the ink, maybe if that polling station has like three streams, mm -hmm. you go and vote in the, street, the three streams, after you finish this, uh, the three streams, you go to another polling station. You've got evidence on that? Yes, I have evidence <laughs> on that. So, uh, you see, uh -huh. the, the nomination started a bit uh, late, like, uh, on average, it started like around 10, 9 to 10. Uh -huh. But when it reached uh, 5 in the evening, uh, 5 to 6, some people started, my, my, now my, my, my group started calling me. Some kids, where are you? And people are voting even up to ten times. Can, can we mobilize our people to vote uh, like even five times? <laughs> so I came to realize when it was very late. Uh -huh. So those are the kind of so, irregularities. So the fact that, that you came there. to realize when it was very late. So suppose you knew about this no, the, in advance. No, Could you have also is, mobilized the people no, to vote? The thing, like, is, uh -huh. the thing is, me, I thought what we were going to do on the nomination, <laughs> as I expected. Mm -hmm. I expected them to be very very ve democratic ve yes and uh, and uh, and very neutral mm -hmm. so the thing of uh, of people voting like three times or two times or ten times it was not on my mind mm -hmm. I was not expecting even such a thing to happen and then another irregularity that was there the the, 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 the register that was being used mm -hmm. some of the people that were coming uh, out to vote some, they, they came to realize that their names, even, I don't know if, if even if it was to realize or they were told. Mm -hmm. My opponents, most of my opponents were told that their names were not in the register. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, you know, you know, you, you know, it was a lot of chaos. Mm -hmm. When, when, when they, 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 Most of your opponents or most of your allies? Yeah, most of my allies, they came, okay, okay yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, when they realized these are, these are my, my supporters, mm -hmm. they were told your names, your names are not here. Where did you uh, last time? Where, did, where was your voting? Uh, your voting polling Center. station? Yeah, but I think it was one of the things that it was used to, to fight some of the some of the aspirants. Okay. Uh, but looking at the register and the people that their names were not on that register, some were allowed to vote. They said, "Well, and well, you have come to vote for the nominations." But because your names are not here, there was another small pay, uh, another small book where their names were were written, were being written, so that they can continue the process of the nomination. So according to me, the whole process was not free and it was not fair. Okay. Yes. And if you say like in some instances you even have evidence that the process wasn't democratic, how come you didn't go and challenge? Of course, we had a tribunal that was dealing with appeals, and because you came number two. Among us, 11 contestants, I yes. imagine. Yes. So how come you didn't uh, contest? Mm? Or you, you didn't fight that? One, I have, uh, I have friends in the party. And after the second day of the nominations, I inquired a little bit uh, about, the, 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 about raising the, 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 those, those cases about the regularities. Okay. But one thing I was told, you see, the cases that were here in the tribunal in the party, there were so many. There are so many more than, apart from the MCS, mm -hmm. for the for the for the MP seat, for yeah. the women rep, for the for the gubernatorian, mm -hmm. there are more than 500 cases, mm -hmm. without counting the, the for the MCS. Sure. Now he told me <coughs> this thing, even if you will raise these cases in the tribunal, mm -hmm. it will not go through. And you stopped at that. And I stopped at that moment. Mm -hmm. I saw. I uh, I said, well. Uh, there is also another time. Okay. Yes. So to you, another time is not going independent because okay. Well, we've seen um, those who uh, who lost in the jubilee nominations yes. coming up and forming a party of independent candidates, mm. and they're saying like, you know what, you're going to fight those uh, jubilee candidates. So are you a member of that party, the independent candidates? No. Okay. Me, uh, I'm still in jubilee. Okay. And in Wasingishu County, I'm supporting all the nominees. Uh, of Jubilee Party. Mm -hmm. Starting from the presidential, the gubernatorian, the, M uh, the MP, the Senate, and the women rep. Okay. And even the, the, even the nominee of the MCA, mm -hmm. I'm supporting totally the, the Jubilee Party. Okay. One, uh, 
I didn't want to be seen as a person who is not. You see, sometimes it's good to have your stance. As much as some voices may come to tell you, we expected you to do this and this, but I have a, I have a personal stand. Okay. Now I decided not to go to the independent candidature. I decided just to support the people that the nominees that were in the Jubilee, the Jubilee party. Ah. Yes, that is what I decided. That is my personal stand, and uh, I think uh, uh, for me maybe to grow in future. You know, some 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 of the things that we do now they also affect our future. So. Uh, my supporters, or rather the whole community, they need to see my, my, my stand as a, at now. So that is the reason that I decided just to support the nominees candidature going to be the party. Okay. Yes. So that means until 2022? Uh, or even 2027? Uh, okay, okay, I'll not talk about the, the future politics. Okay. But uh, for now, mm -hmm. I'll just support them and then after the, the after the after election things will put themselves in, uh, in okay in, so they will balance and then uh, i think i'll not talk the the future politics okay like you're saying yes. about the the, the the future inference mm -hmm. could this have been a factor in your decision because i mean there are certain candidates especially those who who came second mm -hmm. in the nomination processes who said you know what mm -hmm. i'm not going to stop until i get to the ballot mm -hmm. so the con is, are the consequences what you thought about mm -hmm. and decided, you know what, I'm not going to, to, to run? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, the thing is, uh, when we look the the history on the on the, on the the regions where, uh, like, like in, in Osingishu County, sure. this region is a Jubilee party. And uh, it was a bit tricky. When you go with independent, it was a, a bit tricky mm -hmm. because uh, like, uh, like this zone where Jubilee dominates, okay. it was a bit a challenge. Because even when the president and the deputy president, mm -hmm. they, they will come in this region. They will see, we want to see the nominees of the party. Okay. Let, let us vote for them. So the, the challenge was, uh, if I went independent, the resources that you need for you to vote as an independent candidate, I think even it will be more compared to, to the expenses that you used in the nominations. So, and because the party is supporting their nominees, so I said, uh, why? Why go to the as an independent candidate and yet the party will support their nominees? So me, I say there is another time, and uh, because at the end of the day there is a life to live and there was a life that I was living. Okay. I said let me support the nominees and then life moves on. Okay, still on the independent candidate. Yes, we've seen Jubilee Party saying that you know what we are going to support uh, independent candidates, but Nasa on the other hand has made it very clear that when you, if you lost, you lost and nothing. <laughs> so. What's your sincere opinion about mm -hmm. that? Is it just wise for the parties to support uh, independent candidates so they should just be like uh, to one, their own? Uh, a challenge that is here. Uh -huh. You see, independent candidates, this, this independent party, it is coming as a third force. Sure. There is Jubilee, there is NASA. Now these independent candidates, it's a third force. But it's just for, uh, for those who are from Jubilee, the independents? Yes. Uh, one, uh -huh. uh, there's some there's some candidates or rather some aspirants who had some influence and maybe because of the regularity they lost in one way or another. Yeah. So uh, to me, because at the same time, even if it's Jubilee or even if it's NASA, they still need the, the independent candidates. Yeah. So in this region, me what I can say about the, the independent candidate, there is no any other reason that the Jubilee party can come mm -hmm. on the ground and then say that you're going to vote for the nominees of Jubilee. Okay. I think it's good for the for the Jubilee party mm -hmm. just to leave it like that. Let the people decide. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, some keys, yes. as uh, popularly referred to as by residents of Watson Gishu County and maybe your friends. Yes. Uh, this is the straight up program. We're taking a short break, but stay right with KTS.